And this is the scene here at St Mary Stadium on Welcome the south the coast of England. Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Southampton facing Burnley. Yeah, thanks Derek as always. Pleasure to be here. I have to say the atmosphere is fantastic in here. And I'm anticipating a really good game today. Hopefully we won't be disappointed. Number six. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Alex McCarthy is the goalkeeper. Kyle Walker-Peters plays with Ryan Bertrand in the fullback positions. James Ward-Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Vestergaard. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. Very comfortable when in possession. Oh, showing excellent vision. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. Just couldn't capitalise there. Well, it took a deflection. That'll be a corner. Played into the centre of the box. Good strength to keep the ball. Possession given away, unfortunately. Redmond. Ward Prowse. Ings. Ward Prowse has eyes for goal. Wow, look at this, what a strike. He's took a chance. Did he swerve? Is the keeper at fault? He won't care. Caught it so sweetly. Underway again, and Southampton with the advantage here. Southampton, number eight, James Ward Proud. Armstrong. And it's with Bednarek. Romeo. Ward Prowse. Redmond. Fluency of movement. Not even close in the end, Lee. Well, he's had a go, Derek. He's gone for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there, was it? Has gone over the touchline for what'll be a throw in. Bednarek. Ward Prowse. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Struggling to keep the ball. Plenty of options. Chris Wood. Brownhill. Good looking cross. The clearance wasn't decisive. Oh, a lovely ball. And he struck the post. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Charlie Taylor. A very good tackle. This could be dangerous if he's not careful. It is to be a throw-in. Armstrong. Armstrong. Bednarek. 
Takumi Minamino. Not showing good defensive judgment. Plenty of running room in the wide position. That's well blocked. And he's fired over the corner. And still dangerous. Well, that's the end of that for now. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Oh, what's he gone and done? And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, Derek, as we see it again, it's a big mistake. You try to teach youngsters not to get caught in possession and be aware of what's around you. He has no clue and he pays the price. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. What a piece. Josh Brown. The first half here comes to an end. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Might be onto something with that ball. Lotion. Brownhill. Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively and played in. Just the clearance that was needed. Ings. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, there's never a bad time to score a goal, but just before half-time can be crucial. And he's got his team back in this game. What can he produce in the second half? Ward-Prowse. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Westwood Westwood Well foul play says the referee That's an effective cross aimed at the back post Bertrand Romeo be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball and a strong tackle far from a good pass plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce in with a chance Stuart Armstrong and a long way out. Well, he knows it. The shot needed to be just a bit lower. <laughs> Effective looking pass. And possibilities inside the box. Well timed tackle. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. A foul, but advantage played. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Redmond well that's gone out and it is going to be a goal kick it's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage 
A really effective shielding under pressure. Stuart Armstrong. The cross is on. Not doing the job defensively that time. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Played into the centre of the box. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, here it is again. Ball into the box from the corner, and that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration. It's a lovely finish. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, he can't let the frustrations get the better in, Derek. His players need help here. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And it's a case of just five minutes left. Westwood. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort the players are putting in. They just need to keep their concentration and the game should be theirs. And he keeps going. Will he find the net? Oh, a goal! How about that for a degree of difficulty? Simply off the charts! Well, here's the replay, and it's a great ball into the danger area. And it's all about the time he allows himself by being patient, waiting for the ball to drop, and then volleying with such precision. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. For Southampton, number 11, Nathan Redmond. And there goes the final whistle. Plenty of positives from a Southampton point of view. Lee, what did you make of their performance? Well, Derek, when the lead was extended to a two-goal margin, you could almost hear the sigh of relief from their supporters and the manager too. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.